Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Grace if you are new here and I kind of just wanted to take you guys along this week to the various things that I'm doing. New Year's is on Saturday. Christmas was this past Saturday and Sunday so I'm kind of in the middle of not knowing what to do until New Year's Eve. I have plans with my friends. It's one of my friend's birthdays in St. Louis so I'll have to drive a bit to get to her. We're going to celebrate up there and then I'm actually leaving for a trip on Monday. So I have a lot of prep that I wanted to get done for that. I have a pedicure today. Just a lot of stuff that I'm going to be doing. Just kind of a lot of prep and packing. I'm going to show you guys the outfits that I'm bringing and all of that stuff. But I wanted to start off this video by doing a little what I got for Christmas. I'm not going to show everything, but I did just do a full on Christmas haul on my TikTok. So if you guys want to see every single thing that I got, head over there and watch that video. But I wanted to show you guys the bigger things that I got because I feel like... This is a classic video and but i wanted to show you guys kind of the bigger things that i got because i just love what i got for christmas videos these videos are what made me fall in love with youtube in the first place and i feel like they're just so fun and classic and it's not to brag or anything and i'm sure you guys would have wanted to see it anyway and if you don't then just click off this part or fast forward so let's get started i need to leave for my pedicure though and i'm like 15 minutes so we have to go kind of quick so the first thing that i got and probably my favorite thing is the base weekender bag i'm sure that a lot of you guys either got this for christmas or have been seeing a lot about it i feel like this was kind of one of the big gifts that a lot of people were asking for and i'm just so excited i'm going to use this as my carry-on as my weekend bag when i'm like having a sleepover or something and it's just so so cute and so sleek and i've just been watching so many tiktoks on how to utilize all of the room in this bag because it's obviously made to pack a lot of stuff. So I'm so excited to use this. I'm obviously taking it to Florida and I cannot wait. So got this bag. I will link all this stuff down below as well. Some of it may be on sale still or about to go on sale since it's post Christmas. So I will put all this in the description for you guys to shop. And then you guys know I already have a super puff. It is my coat that I wear every single day and it literally keeps me so warm. I've had it for a year now and it's probably one of the best investments I've ever made because I feel like I've never had a coat keep me as warm as that does. And I want to okay, sorry you guys that memory card just filled up but what I was saying was I wanted a shorter version of the super puff but also obviously knowing that it would keep me warm I was kind of pondering on the thought of getting a different brand but I was like I already know this one fits well and keeps me so warm so I got this color it is a little it's kind of grayish green I could not decide what color I wanted so I gave my mom the option of just choosing and I love this color it's the color gunmetal it says and I wear a size small so Love this. I've already tried it on and everything. I actually tried it on in New York last month at the Super World store. They have a store there dedicated to only Super Puffs and it's the coolest thing ever. If you're ever in Soho, you need to go. And I tried on the size small there and I realized that that fit. Okay, next up I got a new pair of Uggs. These are the platform Uggs and I'm not sure what the name of them are, but I originally was going to get the ultra mini platforms but i already have the regular ones and i was like you know what i want to do something different so i got the ones with a little zipper and then the red on the back and i've already been wearing them and they're so cute with leggings and like a big sweatshirt so i'm obsessed with these and then my cousin actually got me this sweatshirt for christmas it's from the bar and i've been wanting one of these crew necks for so long and i originally wanted it in the tan color or like a different more neutral shade because you guys know i'm not a big fan of colors but the blue was the only shade they have left and I was like, I'm just going to send you the link. I really want this sweatshirt so I was like, I'm just going to get the blue. But now the tan came back in stock but I'm thinking I'm just going to keep the blue you guys. It's so pretty and I don't have anything this color and I'm definitely going to be getting more in the future because I love this brand and the fit of it is so good. So, and I'm also wearing the Lululemon flare yoga pants right now. I think I showed you guys one of my hauls like a few vlogs ago. I bought these myself and then just had my mom wrap them because we have a Lulu in my college town. So I got them and then she wrapped them up for me. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of fast now because I'm running late, but I got this Aritzia hoodie. You guys already know Aritzia is my favorite brand ever, especially for sweatpants, hoodies, all that stuff. So I just got their classic hoodie in their gray color. Next, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know my obsession with the Aritzia bodysuit. So I got this black one in the like square neck for a long sleeve i have the long sleeve body so already in brown and green but i was like i need a black so i asked for this next up is skims you guys know i could never have a christmas haul or a birthday without having something from skims in there it's my favorite loungewear brand and i got the boyfriend tee in the long sleeve version 
I already have the short sleeve, so I was like, I might as well get a long sleeve too. Love this shirt. And then I got another little shirt. This is the cotton long sleeve, I think, in this really pretty greenish blue color. And I just love the way the shirt fits. It's so flattering. And you guys know, I've said it before, you will never regret investing your money into Skims. It is so comfy. You feel so good wearing their clothes. And I feel like you just can't go wrong with anything you buy from there. So it was a very workout set Christmas. I got first this aloe set. These are the leggings. And then the matching little black bra as well. You guys know I love aloe sets, so I wanted to get another. I'm always working out in sets. You guys know I literally cannot work out anything else. And then next, I got another set from Set Active. I love Set Active as well. And the sport body material is my favorite of theirs. And so I got a black set and that, just a little bra, and then the matching black leggings. And then next from Aloe, I got a little pullover. This is like a black, kind of a lightweight pullover. I'm not really sure how you would describe the like feel of it, but it has the Aloe on the arm. And I'm always looking for little things like this to throw over my workout sets when I'm heading to a workout. And I feel like this will be perfect, especially whenever it's getting kind of warm outside and I don't want a big like pullover jacket on. That's really good and lightweight. And then next from Aloe, my mom got me these little socks. They're so cute and fluffy. I love this color. I love fuzzy socks, especially for the winter and these are so cute these are in my stocking and then and then also from aritzia my mom got me these little gloves they are the tech gloves so you can like go on your phone and stuff which is like my biggest pet peeve when you're wearing gloves and you can't go on your phone it's so annoying but i have to wear gloves at school when i'm walking to class because it gets so cold especially in january and february i'm freezing so my mom got me these gloves and then this is kind of a fail but i wanted to show you guys anyway because the color is really pretty I got this pajama set from Revolve, but it's way too small on me and the material is kind of cheap feeling for the price that we paid for it. So I'm actually going to return this and either get a different PJ set or get something else from Revolve. I'm not really sure, but I'm really sad about this because it was so cute on the website and I was really excited about it, but it's just too small and I don't even know what size I would be in it because this is the size small and when i tell you it did not fit me at all it literally like did not fit me so i'm not really sure what this brand sizing is all about but that did not work out next i'm realizing that i forgot to show this in my tiktok haul but i got a pair of the bala bangles these are little arm wrist weights that you can put on to do like a pilates workout i love using wrist weights to do arm workouts and the pair that i have right now are so old they're like my mom or dad's really old pair and they're like velcro and they never even stay on my wrist and they're really annoying. And I've been wanting these for so long, but I could just never get myself to buy them. We asked for these for Christmas. I'm so excited to start using them. And then next I got a Stanley cup. I feel like everyone asked for this for Christmas. And this is the 30 ounce. I was originally gonna get the 40, but then I saw it in person and I was like, that's kind of too big for me, especially with the handles. So I just asked for the 30 ounce and I'm excited to start drinking water out of this. I feel like it's gonna help me keep up my water intake for this year and you guys already know i try to drink a gallon a day okay next time i'm getting into some hair stuff my mom got me these heated rollers and i've been telling her that my goal for this year is to learn how to do my hair because i'm so bad at it and i feel like all i do is straighten it or like throw it up and i don't want to do that anymore i want to figure out how to do like curls and waves and all that kind of stuff so she got me this little set it's just it looks like it's just the rollers and then they stay in this heated thing i'm not really sure how it works i'm gonna have to look up like so many videos on how to do this but but i'm excited to use them because like i said i really want to learn how to do my hair and i'm just so bad at it so and then i also got these two little clips from MEJ. i'm so excited they're so cute you guys these are like one of the first things i put on my list i love them so much this one just has little cherries on it and then this one has little flowers and butterflies so i love these they are a lot smaller in person than what i thought they were going to be but i don't have very thick hair so I should be fine. But I would say if you have thick and a lot of hair, then these probably would not work. Unless you just look a little half up, half down or something, they would probably work. But if you're trying to put your whole head of hair in this, I can't even really do that with them. So I think this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys because I have to go. But I got this little Necessary Body Ritual set. Four other things in it. The lotion, the serum, the body wash, and the exfoliator. And I already have the body wash and I love the scent. So I've been wanting to try the serum for so long and... I got this little set i feel like sets are a good way to try out products without having to spend a ton of money on it so i'm excited to use these try them out if i like them maybe i'll buy the full size of this but yeah super cute little set oh and then i have to show you guys this my mom got me this little 
portrait of me in Paris. If you guys are new, I studied abroad this past summer. So she printed out like two of these pictures of me standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. And, and I thought it was so cute and thoughtful. I'm probably gonna hang it in my room somewhere, like on one of my shelves. But I thought this was so cute and special. So I think that's all I'm gonna show you guys. I have a lot of little stuff that I didn't show, but like I said, I showed pretty much everything on my TikTok haul. So if you guys wanna see more, then I would head over there and watch those. But then one of my favorite jewelry brands ever, Anna Luisa, actually sent over a few pieces for me to try out. And I'm so excited because if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you've probably seen my kind of everyday jewelry. I don't put rings on every day, but whenever I do, these are the rings that I put on and one of them happens to be Anna Luisa. So my normal rings that I put on include my Cartier, this one from my mom, and then and then this one is from Anna Luisa. It's a little rope ring. I don't know, these are so in style right now. I got this in this past summer, and I'm telling you guys, I wear it so much. And when I'm going out, it's just the most sleek gold ring ever. And I love pairing this ring with my two other ones that I wear. I'm not a huge jewelry person. I'm very minimal when it comes to jewelry. That's why I only wear a few pieces and this is one of my favorites. So you guys already know that those are my rings. And I recently sent over two bracelets that I'm so excited to start wearing. I feel like I never think to wear bracelets. So when they reached out to me, I was like, you know what? I kind of want some bracelets to try out. So I saw these two on their website and I was immediately intrigued. I was like, those are so pretty. So the first one is this little bracelet it's they're both gold which you guys know i only really wear gold jewelry and it's just the most stunning gold bracelet ever and that's honestly what i love by anna luisa because all their pieces look so luxurious and like they would be lots of money but they are all extremely affordable and i love shopping from there and i know that's what stops people especially me from buying a ton of jewelry pieces because i'm like it's gonna tarnish so quickly why would i buy that and that's why i've opted in the past to buying super super expensive pieces and then those tarnish as well so i feel like anna luisa is where i go when i want to find very affordable pieces that are also very luxurious looking and are very high quality so, so that was the first gold bracelet and then this one is the second one it's a little bit more thin than the other one, but very, very pretty as well. Also gold, as you can see. I'm literally obsessed with gold jewelry, and they have such cool pieces on there, you guys. You have to check them out. So I'm excited to start wearing these, especially for when I go out. I feel like it's going to elevate my style a bit and make me feel a bit more mature. So the first one that I showed you is called the Lisa bracelet, and then this one is the Danae bracelet and I will link all these pieces down below for you guys to shop if you are wanting to and then I'm actually already wearing one of the necklaces I sent over this is just a little G let me get close to you guys it is a little G necklace gold of course and I'm not a huge necklace person I never have been but when I do wear necklaces they have to be very simple and dainty and this is exactly like what I was wanting so when I saw this I was like wait I need like one necklace in my whole jewelry collection because I don't have any. I got rid of all the ones I used to wear in high school because they were just old and tarnished and just not very good quality. So, so I got this one because I know also the style of this and how simple it is. It will never go out of style and I can wear it with so many different outfits. And I think on the website it was called just the letter necklace and you can pick out whatever letter you're wanting, whether it's your boyfriend, your mom, your grandma, your sister, or whatever you want. They have so many letters on there. So I love this necklace. It's probably my favorite thing they sent over this time and i cannot wait to keep wearing it and then lastly they sent over a new pair of earrings and earrings are probably my favorite jewelry ever i feel like i didn't even used to wear rings when i was younger like in high school i would only wear earrings and i had so many pair and again now i got rid of so many of my earrings because they were just old and gross so i was in desperate need of some new classier looking earrings and i got this pair i'll put them in for you guys in a second but i wanted to show a little close up again with a little rope detailing i feel like that's what i think of when i think of anna luisa is just this is this print for some reason because it's so cute and and again such good quality look at that it's so cute i'm gonna put these in for you guys to see a little close up i also know a lot of people don't like backs of earrings because for me i always lose the back like i'll drop it on the floor and i'll roll under the rug or something i always love when earrings don't have a back and it's just like a snap because then i don't have to lose the back or like worry about where it goes or anything these are so cute and if i'm not mistaken one of these hoops is also anna luisa okay these actually might replace my everyday hoops because they're very lightweight i was expecting them to be a little heavier but they're super lightweight and i can't even like feel that they're in my ears thank you again anna luisa for sending those over i'm obsessed with all the pieces of course i love you guys and all of your jewelry pieces they're seriously the best you guys and i feel like they also have 
something for everyone on their website because I know not everyone has the same taste in jewelry. And Nana Louisa also kindly gave me a discount code for you guys to shop for some money off and it is GraceR10, all caps. I'll put it right here and I'll also put it in the description for you guys to shop as well and I will link all these pieces again for you guys if you want to shop any of them. I highly recommend them. I know you guys will love them as much as I do. Like I said, you guys are always asking where my jewelry is from and half of it is literally from Anna Luisa. So yeah, thank you Anna Luisa again for sending me those pieces. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. Just that same sweatshirt that I showed you from the bar and then and then these little Lululemon yoga pants. They're so flattering on the legs, you guys. I got them in a size four, I believe, and I'm never going to be taking this off. Like I cannot get over how flattering they are. And, and then my new Uggs, of course. I love the platform. I feel like they also make my legs look so flattering and... I just love the little extra height. Yeah, also this sweatshirt is a size XL. I know I'm going to be getting questions and it's gigantic. So I love hoodies and sweatshirts in like the largest size they have because it's just so big and comfy. So I just feel like the bigger, the cozier, you know what I mean? So I always get them in an XL, sometimes an XXL depending on the brand. But this one is very, very big and oversized. I honestly could have done a large, but it's so comfy and cozy. So I love 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 this sweatshirt i feel like i've been talking about it the entire vlog but i want it in so many more colors you guys it's so good and comfy and cozy so okay i just got done with my pedicure every time i leave i'm always so zen and tired i could literally go home and take a nap but i feel like i'm not the best at napping especially when i want to fall asleep at night so i'm not gonna do that but i wish i could the new season of emily in paris actually came out though the other day so i think i'm gonna go home and watch some of that show i love that show it is a little cheesy but i feel like it reminds me of study abroad and i just love paris so i feel like it kind of gets me in vacation mode a little bit so it makes me feel so nostalgic and the guy in it is so cute this accent is just literally chef's kiss so i might need to rewatch the last few episodes of season two though because i don't really remember what happened i think that she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay with her job in paris or move back to chicago i'm pretty sure that's how it ended and they didn't tell us like what she picked so i'm hoping it's gonna pick up and tell us um right off the bat don't mind these tuesdays i think my Laneige has been breaking me out which makes me so sad but i i seriously think it is like i have had so many lip sits since i've started using the peppermint scented laneige i've had like three i usually get like one or two pimples a month and it's usually only around my period and they go away so fast but ever since i've been using that lip balm i've had this one for weeks now and it just keeps coming back and like raising and then this one is just now healing and it has to be from that lip balm because literally nothing else has changed and i think it's the scented part of it that's making it do that i feel like my laneige the berry flavored one doesn't usually do that to my lips i haven't used it in a long time but whenever i did use it i would never break out like this around my mouth area and it's just really annoying because also when it's around your mouth they hurt so bad if you guys have ever had a zit like right here like this one or right here they hurt so much worse than other places on your face i don't know why so i honestly don't know if i recommend laneige anymore i've also been seeing stuff on tiktok about how they test on animals and stuff which is obviously not good and i don't want to support a brand if it's doing that so i might be kind of done with the laneige for right now because i think it's been breaking me out and yeah i'm gonna drive home now put on some sizza i've been listening to her album like crazy it's so good and for some reason i resonate her her music and just her as a whole with the month of january because if you guys remember her song good days i'm sure you guys all know that song i was on a trip with my friend visiting her in arizona and i feel like that's when that song had just come out and we were blasting it the entire trip so i resonate her music with that trip and now it's about to be january again and it's just she's so january to me like her entire music her whole vibe is just winter vibes for me and i love it so i'm gonna listen to that drive home and clean up my disgusting room okay it's time to put all of this away somewhere because this just cannot be the situation anymore it's been like this for like three days now so i'm gonna put all this stuff away i need to clean this cup before i use it and yeah let's clean hi you guys i completely forgot i was vlogging today if i'm being honest i have done absolutely nothing besides watch spider-man which 
I know it's so weird for me. I have never seen the Spider-Man series. And I don't know, I've been wanting to watch it for a while. So I just bought it on Amazon Prime and I've been watching it. It's actually really good. I never thought I liked Marvel and that kind of like action movie. But it's really good. And I actually watched the new Batman that came out. Maybe it was last year or this year. I can't remember. But that was really good too. And that's when I knew I was like, I should watch all the Spider-Man movies. So I finally am. And that's what I've been doing literally all day. I have my new skims tea on the long sleeve i'm so so cozy right now i'm gonna go put on a candle and just lay in bed the rest of the night but i wanted to do some skincare with you guys i'm almost out of my cetaphil daily facial cleanser and they actually discontinued this exact like formula of it and that's my last bottle so i'm gonna have to buy a new face wash soon because their new formula they came out with i used it and I had to return it because it gave me a huge rash on my face and there was some sort of ingredient in there that just did not sit right with my face. So I can no longer use Cetaphil after I run out. So I'm kind of trying to research which face wash I should get next. I think I'm going to try out the La Roche Posay one because I love my moisturizer from them and I've been seeing so many good reviews on this brand as a whole. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with any other products. But for now, I'm just gonna use the rest of my Cetaphil using my little MEJ claw clip. I'm so obsessed with this, you guys. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you should have seen my whole family's face whenever my aunt gave this to me. Cause we do cousin gifts on my dad's side because there's only 10 of us and we're all girls. And it's usually like a $30 gift. And she got me this clip. And this was the only thing she got me obviously because it's like $30 for this so everyone was like laughing at me that i asked for a 30 dollars clip but i was like i don't care it's so cute and i love it i feel like people pay 30 dollars for way more dumb stuff than a clip i feel like people waste their money these days on the most stupid stuff and you know a claw clip may be stupid for 30 dollars but there's still more stuff people spend money on for that okay i'm not going to use my paula's choice because i used it last night and I only use this every other night because it can kind of dry out my face if I use it too much. So I'm just going to go in with my La Roche-Posay Double Repair Moisturizer. I love this stuff. If you guys have been watching my recent vlogs, I've been trying to find a good nighttime moisturizer for so long. And I really like this one, especially for the winter time. I feel like it's really thick and moisturizing. So I'm really glad I found this. And I can see myself purchasing a lot more from this brand in the future. Now I'm going to use my eye cream from Shawnee Garden. They sent me this in a PR package a while ago. And I'm not even close to running out. It's so good. And I just love the skincare brand as well. So I feel like my under eyes get extra dry in the winter time. And they're like in desperate need of eye cream. Also, if you guys are wondering why I've abandoned on my pinky. I cut my pinky with my razor. I can't even express how much I hate cuts. Not that I can't see other people's blood. Like, it's not the blood. But the way a cut feels to me is the worst pain in the world. I don't know what it is, but I'm such a baby when it comes to cuts. Like, it will be the smallest cut ever, like a paper cut or something. And I can't deal. I really can't. I, I literally threw a fit when this happened because it hurts so bad. And, like, the razor literally took a chunk off the top of my finger and like there's a hole like indent of where the skin is missing because it took that much out like razors are deadly i don't understand why i continue to like use it honestly that alone makes me want to get laser but i never will because i just feel like that's a waste of money i hear so many stories of people that pay so much for laser and their hair doesn't even fully go away and i'm like why would you pay that much if your hair is gonna like eventually grow back you know what i mean I just think it's kind of a waste of money if it doesn't work. But last step is Tower 28 little um, spray. It's their rescue spray in the mini bottle. It's so cute. And I'm not going to lie, it smells like chlorine. But I really like it. I feel like it's really hydrating as a last step in my nighttime skincare. So I'll kind of like dab it in. And this is when I would normally go in with my Laneige Lip Balm. But like I said earlier, I think it's what's breaking me out. So... I'm done with that for right now. We're going to stick to Vaseline for the time being because I don't want to mess with these lip mouth zits anymore. They're so painful and annoying. So good morning, you guys. I woke up around nine and I've just been ice rolling my face, laying in bed. 
I just got up, I'm gonna put some workout clothes on and then I have a spin at 11.30. And then me and my mom have a ton of returns to make later of just like Christmas gifts and exchanges and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go run and do that after I get back. So that's kind of the rough plan for today. I also wanna get some of my stuff together for my trip next week because New Year's Eve is on Saturday and I'm actually going to St. Louis for New Year's so I think I'm just going to stay up there until Monday. So I think I'm just going to stay up there at a friend's house until Monday which is when my flight is out to Florida. So, so I need to have all my stuff together by Friday probably because I just get kind of stressed out when it comes to packing and I don't want to be super last minute about it. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm going to put some workout clothes on. I think I'm going to put one of my new sets on that I got for Christmas because I'm really excited to wear them and try them out. I think I'm gonna put on this aloe set that I got. It's so cute. It's like a little bit, it's like a velvet material at the top and then it just has like the aloe sign and then a stripe down the leg. I just thought they were really different. So I sent this to my mom when they were having their 30% off like back in November. So I completely forgot I was getting this until I opened it and I'm really obsessed with it and can't wait to wear it i hope it stays up during spin because that's my one rule with workout sets like the leggings cannot fall down because spin is such a high intensity workout that you don't have time to keep pulling up your leggings and like your bra and stuff so we're gonna test this out today <laughs> okay i really like the fit of this set i feel like it's really snug and it shouldn't come down during my class so i will link this down below if you guys want to shop you guys know aloe is one of my favorite workout brands Honestly, it might even beat Lululemon sometimes, depending on like which set I'm wearing. I know there was also pink and green in this pattern, so if you guys like colored workout sets, they also have like a ton of colors on there. Okay, I just sat down. I'm gonna do a little leg Pilates workout and then also a stretch before I go to spin. I love doing a little leg workout and stretch before I go to spin because obviously on the bike, it's mostly your legs that are doing all the work, so I like to make sure they're all stretched out and stuff before i go to spin because it's just so it can be really hard on your legs especially if you're not like warmed up so i always do these leg workouts by i think i showed you guys her name's san s-a-n-n-e and then i think her last name starts with a v but if you look up leg workouts leg slimming workouts then i'm sure her account and her videos will come up for you guys to do and they're really short that's why i like them they're like five to ten minutes long and I just like doing them like quickly and then I'll do like a 10 minute stretch afterwards. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm gonna go to spin. I'm literally loving this workout set, you guys. It's so cute and I love tops like this, like the V. I just feel like they're really flattering on like my chest area because I don't have the biggest <laughs> boobs, but I feel like this V cut makes them look a little bit better than usual, so. Hello, you guys. I just got done with my class. Sorry, I'm in my mom's car, so I don't know how to control her air, but I actually really like my mom's car for vlogging. I feel like her dash has so many more spaces in mine. Like you guys are just chilling on her front dash and it looks so much better than my car. So maybe I'll be driving around hers while I'm home because I love her car so much. It's so tiny and it's just so cute, so. But anyway, the aloe set definitely passed the spin test because they stayed up the whole time i really didn't have to like touch anything i feel like the bra is a little big on me so i had to like tug on it to pull it up a little bit but other than that it worked really well so i definitely recommend this set as well i have the brown one which is kind of a different um style than this one kind of like skinnier straps and it kind of looks like the flow y bra from lululemon and i love that set as well it does not pill it's so good for working on and for sweating so honestly i was been passing up lululemon recently i feel like my lululemon stuff all of it is starting to pill so bad even my wonder unders which never used to pill are starting to get like fuzzy and like rough on the sides and i'm like why why are you doing that like i haven't had them that long to where they should be doing that especially if they're a hundred plus dollar leggings so Aloe might be where it's at, guys. And Set Active. I wore Set Active that set the other day. I wasn't vlogging, but I think that Set Active is also my new favorite workout brand because I have like a few biker short sets from there, but I don't think I was getting the right material. I got the, I think, Luxiform or something. Maybe they have like three materials, but I've noticed that I only like the sport body and that's the material that I just got for Christmas. So I wore it the other day and I love it a lot better than the other sets I have from them. So I'm probably gonna be placing a big order on there to get some biker short sets because I feel like I need to stop buying 
leggings because it's going to be spring slash summer soon and I am going to be needing to wear biker shorts because it'll be hot outside. So. And this is the little lightweight pullover thing that I got for Christmas as well from Aloe. It's so cute. It has the Aloe on the arm right there and then it's just super lightweight. I feel like I could literally do my whole workout in this. I didn't have to take it off until like halfway through. So, And then obviously the set is so cute. Obsessed. I love all my new workout clothes. I feel like new workout clothes make me excited to work out again so but i'm gonna drive home me and my mom have a lot of errands to run returns to make all of that kind of stuff today and i'm gonna start packing for my trip most likely and i'm actually really excited to pack for my trip because i have my new base weekender bag and i'm gonna use it as my carry-on but i'm gonna try to fit a lot of clothes in there so that maybe me and my mom can share a suitcase. So then we don't have to check in three suitcases for one family. Cause I feel like that might work better. And I've been seeing so many TikToks about the base weekender bag and like tips on how to pack as much stuff in there and like be as, what's the word, efficient with the bag. And I just feel like I could fit a lot of my stuff in there, especially because it's Florida. So I'm not gonna be needing like big coats and like sweaters and stuff like that. But we will see, I'm gonna show you guys um, how I kind of pack. I think I'm gonna use my packing cubes as well because when I went to New York, those worked really, really well for just staying organized and stuff while on the trip because I'm one of those people who, once I get to the hotel or the place I'm staying, my suitcase, all my clothes go everywhere. The organization is just way out of the way and I just don't even like care where my clothes are. And I always regret that whenever I'm trying to pack up to leave to go back home and all my stuff's everywhere. So the packing cubes have been a big help. I feel like ever since I went to Europe this summer, if you guys are new, I went for three weeks. So I had to pack in one suitcase for three weeks in Europe. Thankfully, it was summer, so obviously all my stuff was more lightweight, but it was still very hard. But I used packing cubes and it made it a lot easier for me to stay organized and all of that kind of stuff, so. Okay, me and my mom are about to go run and make some returns and get a few groceries, I think. So I wanted to show you what I just threw on. This is my new Skim C. I think it's the cotton long sleeve. I got it off of Nordstrom because they are all sold out on their website out of like every color. And I'm a size small in pretty much all of Skims unless I want it oversized. Like my two gray long sleeves are both larges, I think, because I like sleeping in the big comfy t-shirts. And then I have my Lululemon Alliance, best leggings ever. And then my new platform Uggs. You guys, I'm not taking these off ever they're so cute yeah so here's the fit i'm gonna bring my coat too but it's only 50 degrees so i'm not even sure i'm really gonna need it today so so i just want to show you guys my little fit is anyone else like the few days after christmas all i do is walk around my house in my new clothes that i just got and that's exactly what i'm doing like all of my clothes are sitting over here still and i just keep picking out different outfits that i want to wear and i'm obsessed with all of them so yeah, here's a little fit. Gonna go run some errands and I think we're gonna get Starbucks too because I feel like you can't run errands with your mom unless you get Starbucks first, so. returning a ton of stuff we went to target got made returns and then got a few things and then and then we went to staples to do the happy returns for the revolve stuff and then we went to dick's sporting goods to return a ton of my dad's christmas gifts that didn't fit so i unexpectedly made a purchase there i had some christmas money left over for some things i had to return and i got this fleece it is so cute you guys i know that this pattern probably is not everyone's cup of tea but Rachel Racky has this in the puffer version and I got it in the fleece. It's so cute. I love this pattern. I feel like it's very wintry and I tried it on with the outfit that I'm already wearing my leggings and Uggs and it was so cute with it. I could not resist buying it. So this is my toxic trait is that I spend all of my Christmas money right after I get it 
and my obsession with fleeces has just taken a whole new turn this winter and i now have like 10 of these you guys i just love them and they truly keep me so warm especially when i'm like walking to class and walking around campus i feel like it's just miserable and i feel like this with my coat is going to be really warm i'm going to take a shower because i didn't even take a body shower when i got back from my class me and my mom just went straight to running errands and stuff so i never got to shower and i feel gross i'm doing a collab with this brand called tile picks on tiktok for their new year campaign and i'm really excited it's kind of around college students and just kind of trying to make your dorm slash your apartment in college like a more cozy space for the new year and all their stuff is so cute so i have to go on there and pick out what i want to use for the campaign and then i have a few interviews that i actually got for my internships this summer i have been applying to so many in new york and I'm finally starting to hear back from a few of them and I need to respond to those emails as well about interview times and all of that stuff. So, so really exciting. I feel like I'm slowly kind of making my 2023 calendar and just kind of the things that I know I'm doing each month. And tomorrow I think I'm actually going to sit down with you guys and talk about my New Year's goals and also what I've accomplished this past year because I feel like this was truly the year of growth for me and i have just learned so much about life and about myself this year and i want to share it with you guys so i'm gonna get in the bath and then i think we're making shrimp for dinner and then i'm going to just probably have a chill night again because that's what christmas break is for is having chill nights at home with the family so okay i just got out of the bath i'm feeling so fresh and clean and if you guys saw i got this necessary body set for christmas and it came with the serum lotion exfoliator and body wash i think and i just tried out these two for the first time and let me just say i have never felt so moisturized in my life the serum going on before the lotion is a game changer and i feel like this lotion is perfect for traveling like these are just so many that they'll fit in my travel bag so easily and i'm definitely going to bring them to florida next week and especially after being in the sun and all of that i feel like they're gonna feel so good on my skin after a good hot shower so so i really liked these i might even purchase the regular size of both of them whenever i run out because they're just so moisturizing on my skin especially for the winter time i'm just so dry and i really liked these okay i'm all showered and cozied up this is my new aritzia hoodie that i got i think i showed it in my christmas haul because last year i actually got my first aritzia set for christmas i had never bought anything from there and that's kind of when my obsession started um but i originally got the boyfriend sweatpants and the boyfriend hoodie and obviously since it was my first purchase i feel like i i loved it but i didn't even realize how I was missing out on this collection of theirs so these are the cozy mega sweatpants i will never buy a different type of sweatpant from Marissa because i feel like i've finally found the perfect combination of the sweatpants and the sweatshirt that fit me right and then this hoodie is called the perfect hoodie on their website and the difference between this one and the boyfriend sorry i'm going on like a whole spiel about Marissa, but i get a lot of questions about my favorite stuff and sizing and everything so i kind of wanted to tell you the difference between this hoodie and the boyfriend one is that the boyfriend has the drawstrings and this one is definitely thicker and it just fits a lot bigger than my other one and then same with these sweats they just fit more oversized and comfy than the boyfriend so if you're ever torn on which set to get like what style then i would always opt for cozy mega sweatpants and then the cozy perfect hoodie and then for size reference i'm wearing a extra large hoodie and then i get a small and the sweats because they already come oversized so you don't really need to size up to make them baggy and cozy so yeah, i just wanted to explain for those who have never bought from there slash are kind of confused on their website and stuff because it can be kind of confusing not knowing what style you're wanting to get but this is my absolute favorite so i'm gonna go help my mom cook dinner i think we're gonna make some shrimp and potatoes and then and then just have a cozy night and i need to look at my emails still and get some stuff like that done okay hi you guys it's the next morning and i just did a little arm workout with my new bala bangles bala i'm not really sure how you pronounce that brand but i think i showed you guys in the beginning of this vlog um and my what i got for christmas and now i'm gonna go on a walk but it's 70 degrees right now you guys and i'm just like blown away because it was snowing and like five degrees just the other day and now it's 70 which is insane i just do not understand missouri weather at all whatsoever but 
I just threw on a little lightweight um, pullover that I just got from Aloe. Also for Christmas, it's so cute. It has a little aloe on the side and it's literally so sheer. Like it's basically nothing. I feel like this is all I'm gonna need for a walk. So I'm gonna go on a little walk real quick. I wanna get my nails done today, but I'm having a little um, dilemma this morning. I'll tell you guys more later on, but I'm gonna go walk right now and then I'll come back and we can chat. Okay, hi you guys. I just ate a little lunch. I always forget to show you guys when i make like a snack plate but i always will do some sort of meat so today we had summer sausage at the house so i did i cut up some of that and then i do cracker of some sort like wheat thins or i really like the mary's gone crackers i think you can get from like whole foods and trader joe's and stuff and then i always will do some sort of cheese and i usually do goat cheese because it's my favorite and right now we have like a jalapeno um honey goat cheese at home because we just did christmas with all of my family so we did like a big charcuterie board and we have leftover stuff so i just ate some of that and i always have some sort of fruit with it too like an apple or the little cutie orange things i don't know what they're called clementines i love those and i had like two of those today so i love doing those i feel like in college especially it's so quick and easy and like i feel like crackers and cheese is like my favorite thing ever and I could literally eat it every single day. So I also just filled up my Stanley Cup for the first time. I'm so excited. I literally dropped it on the floor as I was trying to put water in it. Like it slammed on the ground. So I thought that it was dented or something, but I think it's fine. I don't know. Why do I always drop my water bottles? It's so bad. But I'm about to leave to get my nails done. But I wanted to kind of tell you about my whole morning slash, not really dilemma, but kind of annoying issue I'm having. I'm not sure what I'm going to get done, but they are kind of at the length that I can start shaping them to what I used to have. They're not as long as they were yet, but they are getting there. I'm not going to have the person cut them today because I really want to grow them out again. How I had them this whole summer, most of this fall, I just miss it so much because I feel like the long nails are just me. And the short nails have been nice for sure, just like kind of doing everyday tasks, but I miss the look of my long nails so i would get tips but i don't want to ruin my nail right now i'd rather just wait and grow it out and then have them back to the length that they were originally so there's obviously red on them right now for christmas but i think i'm just gonna get like two coats of funny bunny or something i'm not trying to go too crazy i feel like i've done a ton of colors recently and i'm kind of ready to go back to the basics i've also been listening to sis's album non-stop and i think that low is my favorite song on the album so far and nobody gets me also what are these lines on the camera why is it doing that literally what is going on here are the before nails they're so grown out i cannot way to get these done but i wanted to show you a little before also here's my pinky from where i cut it on my razor it looks so much better than it did but the razor literally took a chunk out of the top of my pinky and it hurts so bad but it feels much better now i should have put a band-aid on it though because the nail people can be so rough with your hands and i really don't want them to like touch that at all so i just wanted to show a little before and i will of course show you guys after Hey guys, we're going to have to make this quick because people like to stare and it's really uncomfortable, especially when you look like you're talking to yourself in the car alone. So I still like can't drink out of a straw properly with my lip flip. I feel like I'm like a psycho trying to drink out of it because I feel like my top lip has lost all control of like moving it. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm allowed to drink out of a straw now. It's just really weird. Like last night I was trying to drink out of my hydro flask and I spilt water all over me because my top lip couldn't like grasp onto the straw. It was so funny, but um, anyway, oh my nails. So for the nails, I went basic and just got a French tip. I feel like I always get this whenever I don't know what to get and I was expecting them to be really busy and I was going to have to wait for a while, but they got me right in so I had like no time to sit and look at inspo or anything i should have looked at it before but i just honestly didn't really care what color i got this time because they're obviously not the length that they usually are and i feel like i just i already don't love them because of the length but so that's why i feel like i really didn't care what i got and i picked out a color that was kind of close to funny bunny but then she brought it out in the little um like container of it and i was like that is not the color i thought it was 
so I was like I'm just gonna avoid any issues because nail people scare me so I was like I'll just do French tip instead and I don't know my lady was kind of mean and I was just over it so I was like just do a French tip and be done with it and I did do almond shape though you guys know that's my favorite shape and it obviously looks better when my nails are long like they usually are but I'm hoping that the next time that I go in like three weeks or so they're gonna be at the length that they were hopefully at least close to it and I'm really excited for them to be back to how they were I miss it so much and it took everything out of me not to get tips but I'm like I'm not paying that much and I'm also not gonna ruin my nail by starting to do that again and I thought the French tip was good for New Year's Eve it's basic and then it's also good for Florida next week because all of my bikinis are pretty bright color so I feel like the neutral plain white was gonna be good with that as well so I'm gonna go home check on my mom make sure she doesn't need anything I might run to like the store for her if she starts like getting hungry or something so I'm gonna go home check on her actually no I'm gonna go to the grocery store before because I need to pick up salmon and like some avocados and stuff so I'm gonna run to the grocery store real quick and then sorry there's this car I don't know what it's doing I'm like in a trance um, and I actually have an interview tomorrow with a company for my internship so I'm gonna go over some practice questions as well for that so it's not going to be a super chill night i want to be productive still and because new year's eve is in two days and like i said i have to have all my stuff packed by then because i'm going to st louis and i'm just going to stay up there until my flight on monday so i just wanted to show you guys the nails also i might get some questions on my rings i know i already talked about in this video um uh, my anna luisa ones this is the one that I was showing you from them, I linked it down below. I wear this one on this finger, and then this is my Cartier one that I got in high school. I got it for my high school graduation, and it's obviously so pretty. This ring is obviously so special to me, and my parents actually engraved it whenever they got it for me in high school. And it says forever our girl inside, which is so cute, and obviously this ring is so special to me. And then this one is actually my mom's ring from when she was my age, and I just thought it was so cute, and she gave it to me too where it's actually kind of broken and big on me i need to go get it tightened or something so that it doesn't slip off my finger because i love this ring and yeah i just love these together i feel like i'm such a gold jewelry person especially when it comes to rings so those are my everyday rings i sometimes forget to put them on especially if i'm just sitting at home all day i won't worry about it but if i'm like going out and about running errands and that kind of stuff then i will put them on Okay, I just ran into our natural grocery store that we have. It's super tiny, but I wanted to get a few things in there that my normal grocery store doesn't have. And so I'm going to give you a mini little baby haul. I mainly went in there to get my Olipop that I'm almost out of, but they didn't have any Olipop. So I'm sad, but they had Poppy. And Poppy, I feel like they're both really good. I do like Olipop a little bit better, but mostly because they have a strawberry vanilla flavor which is so good. I love it. It tastes like strawberry soda, but for the poppy, I like their orange one a lot. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong depending on like what kind of soda you like. I would get, like if you like root beer and Coke, then I think the poppy ones are better. But if you like the strawberry vanilla or like orange flavors, then the Olipop is better. So, so I just got two of these because I'm almost out and I love having that during the day as like a little pick me up in the afternoon. And then I also got some crackers. These are the Simple Mills sun dried tomato and basil crackers. So I'm a huge cracker girl, chip girl. You guys have heard me talk about it. So I got those and then I got a ginger shot, which I have not done in so long. I feel like I was really good at taking these over the summer. I would take one like every other day but sorry my hair is like gross i need to wash it but i haven't been taking them at all recently and i forgot how good they can make you feel and low-key they can make me you know what so i've gotten this one before it's the digestion shot with probiotics and it has ginger in it so this one pretty much straight up tastes like ginger it's not amazing but i can tolerate it i just feel like everyone keeps getting sick so i'm trying to keep my immune system up because as you guys know i had the flu last month really really bad and i just do not want to go through that again so i'm trying to do everything to keep up my immune system stay healthy all of those things that was my baby grocery haul now i'm going to go to the actual grocery store to get some salmon okay i'm about to do my nighttime skincare i already washed my face and tonight i'm actually going to go in with my 
retinol from Shawnee Darden. I do retinol, I try to do it twice a week, um, but sometimes I forget, and if I forget, it's fine. But I've been trying to do twice a week, Sunday and Thursday. So I'm gonna put literally the smallest size on, on my finger, like a little pea size amount, and then I just kind of like tap and go on each section of my face. Tap and rub that in. I make sure to not do too much of it because it can dry out your face a lot, but I feel like if you use it the right way, it can be really helpful to your skin. And then I just go in normally with my nighttime moisturizer right after that. So that's been the current skin routine. And then I'll of course put my eye cream on after. And then, oh, I also meant to tell you guys today, I talked with my mom about what was going on around my mouth, like all the zits and bumps I was getting. And we're, we've come to the conclusion that it was definitely the peppermint Laneige because as my mom said, the peppermint ingredient in that can, like a lot of people are allergic to it and it can make their skin break out, itchy, all of those things. And I was actually thinking back to like when I first started getting the zits too, they would itch, which is not normal for zits. At least for me, like mine usually don't itch, but around my mouth they would itch so bad but I couldn't scratch them because this is it and I didn't want to like irritate it but they were super super itchy so I'm gonna have to throw that away unless I want to give it to someone so if any of my friends are watching this and you want the peppermint Laneige lip thingy then you guys can have it because I'm clearly allergic and my skin or my lips did not like that i've been putting this on my lips again and i know that a lot of people have been slugging with vaseline which i am honestly really intrigued but i'm just way too scared to put it all over my face i feel like it would be very like poor clogging and i just don't know how my skin would react to that because it's pretty sensitive but comment down below if you guys have tried slugging and what like what differences do you see and how do you like it because because one of my friends Jacqueline you guys have seen her in the vlog she she slugs every night and she looks like a glazed donut before she goes to bed like she's so like glossy and her skin just looks so moisturized so so I kind of want to try it out but I'm really nervous so comment down below your experience and how you like it if you've tried that before but I made um a salmon bowl for dinner that's literally my favorite dinner right now it's so good and then i've just been watching a star is born in my room i'm so deep in my love story slash drama movie era right now and it's kind of bad i feel like every winter i just get in that mood of like wanting to watch cute romance movies and a star is born is like one of my favorite movies ever so i've been watching that i'm gonna go finish it and then probably go to bed because i've been up since 7 a.m this morning you guys and i'm not complaining i got a lot done this morning i edited and uploaded my last video that you guys saw before this and what else did I do I did some stuff for interviews I did some emails and I don't know I got a lot done and I wasn't super super tired but now I am so I'm gonna go into bed finish my movie make some tea and I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow because I'm gonna pack and I like have no other choice but to pack I was going to today but I just didn't get around to it so tomorrow we're gonna be packing and just preparing a bit more for the trip so i'll see you guys in the morning okay i'm about to leave for spin but i just had to come on and show you these leggings i think i mentioned um towards the beginning of this vlog or just in my haul that these are the best leggings i've ever bought in my entire life they fit me so good i wore these the other day to spin i wasn't vlogging but i'm telling you guys i think i'm gonna have to order like every single color of these maybe even another pair of black because look at these you guys i wear a size small and everything set active they just fit so good like they're so slimming they don't feel too tight or uncomfortable and oh they're just the best you guys and this is the sport body collection from set active so if you're ever wondering what type of material you should get for if you've never ordered from them then i would get the sport body especially if you do more high intensity workouts like i do spin um, you can get the other materials, but I just don't like them as much as this one, and I don't like spinning as much in those, so this is my new favorite set. I'm going to go order it in like 10 different colors because it's also so comfortable. I can't even explain the material, but it's literally 
so good you guys it's so good so i just had to show you that i'm about to leave for spin it's 11 05 and i have class at 11 15 so i need to go right now but i just had to show you guys the set i will link it down below again i wear a size small for size reference and it's just so good <laughs> You guys, here was my outfit I just wore. I just did two online interviews for um, potential interviews, or no, potential little internships for the summer. And I would have sweats on the bottom and then like business casual on top. And it was like the comfiest thing ever. I hope I low key work where I mostly just have to do Zoom meetings because this was so comfy and clutch. So I just took those two interviews. They were just like online and um, uh, there's no person on the other side. I just had to read the question and then answer within a certain amount of time. So it was kind of like nerve-wracking. I just am not an interview person and I don't enjoy doing it. But I'm really hoping that those work out. I'm not going to really tell you guys anything until I know for sure which one that I get. I don't want to like talk about um, a specific internship and like go on and on about it and then I don't get it. So I'm just going to keep that to myself until I know my plans but I'm hoping to be in the city this summer and working there for an internship because if you're new here I'm gonna be a senior after this year so I'll graduate in 2024 so I'm hoping to land an internship this summer because I studied abroad last summer so I didn't have the opportunity to and so that's what I'm doing hopefully this summer yeah I just wanted to show you guys my little outfit I'm sure a lot of you if you work from home um wear this but it was so comfy and it was just cracking me up because i'm really barefoot too <laughs> yeah it's already 3 p.m i don't know where my entire day went but i'm gonna get in the shower because i'm gross and didn't even shower after i s did spin so i'm feeling kind of disgusting but i don't even know how the day's over i haven't packed a thing all my christmas stuff is still laying on the side of my wall um but i'm gonna start getting my suitcase and my carry-on bag out because I'm going to St. Louis tomorrow, like I've said, for New Year's Eve. And then I'm staying there until I fly out on Monday to go to Florida. So I have to pack for this weekend and for the whole week next week. So I'm going to have a lot to do. I guess I have tomorrow too, though. I'm not too stressed on time. I probably have until 3 tomorrow before I have to leave. But I just wanted to update you guys because I haven't talked to you at all today. And literally after spin, this is what I've been doing. I ate lunch and then I did my makeup and took some interviews. So I'm gonna go take a bath, get all clean, and then maybe I'll start packing a little bit because I'm such a bad procrastinator when it comes to that. <laughs> I kind of fell off vlogging yesterday. I ended up going to a family party last night, so I wasn't vlogging at all. We just played games and a ton of that stuff, so I just kind of fell off what I was doing. Um, but it is now the next morning. I have packed a single thing, and I knew I wanted to show you guys packing, so I didn't pack anything last night because it was dark. So today I'm going to pack and show you guys everything. It's New Year's Eve. And I kind of have a lot to get done before I leave for to go out of town. So I also woke up with another zit right here. And I don't understand what is happening with my mouth. It is like the third or fourth zit in this one spot. And it hurts so, so bad. Sorry, my camera just died. I had to change the battery. But what I was saying was my mouth. I keep getting so many zits. And I just don't know how to stop it. I think I was telling you guys that I'm pretty sure it was my peppermint scented Laneige. That was making me break out around my mouth, but I haven't been using it for the past few days. So I don't know why I just woke up with more. So that's what I woke up to this morning. Um, I'm going to get up in a second and do 
a workout. I think I'm just going to do a little arm workout with my new weights. And then I'm going to go on a walk because it's not too cold. Outside has been really warm the past few days, weirdly. Because that's all I've done so far is get my suitcase out and get my carry-on bag out. But that is all that I've done. So um, I'm going to lay out all my clothes. I'll kind of show you guys how I have been packing recently. I, I think I've showed you before, but I have kind of a method of how I pack that makes it a lot easier. And I recently got packing cubes that I'm going to use. So I'm going to kind of show you how I have been packing recently to stay efficient and to not overpack and also to stay organized while on the trip because that's something that I'm not very good at. So I will show you guys a little bit later. But I also self tan last night. So it's all over my tank top. And now I'm sad because I don't even know if that's going to come out. But my tan looks really good. This is the Loving Tan Tanning Mousse in Dark, I believe. And it's a two-hour express, so it shows up, like, right away, pretty much. And I just put it on my chest, arms, and stomach, just so I'm a little bit more tan this weekend. I didn't put it on my face. I just feel like I never put tanner on my face because it always looks splotchy. And I just don't like it whenever it's on my face. So, so that's pretty much what's been going on. That's what I need to do today. Um, I'm going to be ending off this video today, though, because it's been, like, a long few days. And I just feel like I have enough footage to make a vlog now. And I've been kind of trying to decide if I want to vlog in Florida. I had originally told you guys that I was going to, but now I'm kind of like, should I take a week off of vlogging? But I'm not sure. If I do do a vlog, it's probably going to be shorter and mostly montage. But I kind of do want to vlog just because I've been on a roll and I... I really like doing it so yeah i just did a little arm workout i'm telling you guys those wrist weights are so good they like held up on my wrist so much better than the ones that i have now um i think i was saying that mine that i had were like my mom's old ones and they're just like not good but i loved the ball of bangles so i'll link those down below for you guys and i used the two pounds i know there's a one pound set and two pound so i got the two pound because it's just a little bit more weight on your arms when you're just doing like a simple standing workout so now i'm gonna go for a little walk it's only like 45 degrees outside so it's not super super cold um and yeah i'm gonna go for a little walk come back pack a little bit and be productive this is also an aloe set i'm sure i'll get questions if you guys haven't been watching my vlogs this is one of my favorite workout sets ever it's their airlift collection and it's so good it stays up any workout that I'm doing, I love this set. So I will also link this down below. I'm a size small and pretty much everything aloe. I can sometimes do an extra small. So I love, love this set. Okay, here is the current situation I have going on. If you've watched any of my past packing vlogs, I always lay out my clothes like this by outfit kind of. So over here I have like my dinner outfits slash nicer outfits and then we kind of move into swimsuits and cover-ups and then I have workout pajamas and there's just like lounge clothes over here. And then I always put like underwear and bras and all that up there. Okay, starting with some dinner outfits. This is the dress that I showed you guys I recently got from Revolve. It's the brand Sundays, and I tried this on in the Revolve haul in one of my past vlogs, so if you want to see it on me, then just go back and watch that. And then I have that brown top that I also showed in my Revolve haul, and then I'm going to wear it with these low-rise Levi's, and then I'm going to have these white pumps be with this outfit and this outfit, I think, and then I have two dresses as well to wear for dinner. We're going to be there for a night, so that's why I'm bringing four dinner outfits, and then I have this dress from Shop We Were What that I got off of Revolve. I actually got this for my study abroad this past summer in Europe. It's so cute. And I'm going to link all the stuff down below. I'm not sure if these two are still available because like I said, I got them in the summer. But if you want to see any of the stuff on, like I said, these two I tried on in one of my past vlogs in a Revolve haul. And then these two I'm wearing in my study abroad vlogs from this past summer. So just go rewatch those if you want to see. Or you can just go over to my Instagram because I'm going to be posting on those. And I've already posted in both of these. So, And then this dress is from Lioness. It's literally... One of my favorite dresses I've ever bought in my life. It's so pretty, so flattering. And I actually wore this my first night in Paris. So it was just so special to me. And I wore it on the boat cruise that we did while we were there. So 
there's just a lot of good memories with this dress and it also kind of doubles as a cover-up so I'm bringing this and then these pants I'm going to bring as my cover-up they're like a linen super lightweight from H&M and then this is also a linen kind of button-up pullover as a cover-up as well and then I'm only bringing three swimsuits because I know I'm going to rewear this one because it's the most full coverage and my dad's going to be with me so I'm probably going to wear this for two days and then one day wear this and one day wear this one. So this is a Frankie's bikini. I'm sure you guys have seen it if you watch any of my summer vlogs. I love this bikini, but it is very, very cheeky. And I just don't know if I'm going to wear it around like family and stuff like that. So, but I'm going to bring it because I love the colors and it's so cute. And then this one you guys saw I recently got. It's from Hunza G. And it's so cute, so flattering. And like I said, very full coverage. So... <laughs> more modest look if you guys are like me and you don't like the cheeky cheeky bottoms i hate when my butt is showing out of bikinis so that's why i got this one it is very pricey but the quality is so good and i know that i'm gonna wear it so much and then this is another little pink bikini that i got from revolve it's the brand super down and it's again more full coverage on the butt so i'm gonna bring this one as well i will link all three of these down below if you can still get them i'm not sure if these two are still available because i got them in the summer but i will link them down below if they are and then like i said i have underwear right there i need to get a few more actually and then moving over to some lounge slash workout i'm bringing this new workout set that i just got for christmas from aloe and then i'm going to bring two more but they're just in the wash right now so i'm going to get them in a second and then for lounge clothes i have both of my skims tanks this one's gray and then I have a black one. And then I also have a black short sleeve from Skims. You guys know I'm literally addicted. Um, and then I have these Aritzia sweat shorts to bring as well. Just for some lounging and like comfy clothes. And then I'm going to bring this aloe jacket too because it's lightweight. And I feel like I can throw this on um, if we go on a walk or something. There is a gym at our resort so I might go to the gym some days too. We'll see. And then for some pajamas you guys already know I'm bringing both of my Skims boyfriend tees. And then I have my boxers underneath here I think. Yeah. I have a little PJ set that I got from Nordstrom maybe. It's like a tank top and then little shorts. It's so cute. That is pretty much what I have going on now. I feel like I'm forgetting some stuff. I still need to get my airport outfit and, and I think I'm going to grab a hoodie or two just because I like lounging in that whenever I'm just in the hotel room. But I'm going to bring the packing cubes in here and start putting this stuff in my suitcase. Okay, now I'm trying to get some stuff together for my carry-on and slash my bag for this weekend too because like I've said a million times, I'm going to St. Louis tonight to spend New Year's Eve with all my friends. So I have to kind of pack double. My suitcase is over there. I kind of packed it up. I'm obviously only bringing my makeup in here so I can get ready for tonight and then I'm gonna have to take it out and move it to my suitcase on Monday morning before my flight because you obviously can't bring um, any like makeup. I actually got a new makeup bag for Christmas, but it's not here yet. So I'm sad I'm not gonna be able to use it, but this one is from Skims and this little pouch is from a little store in London actually that I got it from and, and it's so cute. I keep all my brushes in here and then I always put my jewelry and my carry-on as well just because I never want to lose it if my bag gets lost or something. So I always bring my jewelry case and my carry-on bag. This is from Coach. My mom got this for me I think a couple Christmases ago. Um, I just have all my rings, earrings, and bracelets in here. And then I'm going to bring my Shashi earrings as well just because they're really thick and I just kept them in this little pouch. But And then I'm also going to bring both of my clips that I got for Christmas because obviously I'm going to Florida and I'll probably put my hair up a lot. And then some electronic stuff. This is my USB that I plug in my SD card into and then I transfer all the videos onto my laptop to edit them for YouTube. And then this is my camera battery that I bring everywhere. It's so easy. I just plug it into the wall and then you put your battery right there. And then I'm obviously bringing my AirPods for the plane. And then and this is the book that I'm bringing for this trip. It's The Silent Patient and I'm so excited to read this. I have not started it yet, but I'm planning to on this trip. So I love reading at the beach or by the pool. It's so therapeutic, and I feel like I actually get the most reading done when I'm on vacation. And then I always bring a pair of sunglasses and my carry-on um, in case it's sunny when I get there. And then my retainer, which is gross, but wear your retainer, kids. You will not regret it, and your parents spent too much money on braces for you guys to not wear retainers. It bothers me so much when people don't wear it. So that's what I have so far. It's obviously not everything that I'm bringing, but... My laptop is charging and then I'll also put that in here along with its charger and then I'm obviously gonna have to pack my clothes for tonight slash tomorrow to bring as well and my airport outfit so that's what's gonna be going in this bag it is literally so big you guys I just opened it for the first time this morning and I was like oh my gosh it's like never-ending 
and it's seriously so big and then it has this whole compartment down here that you can unzip and i'm probably gonna put my like makeup and skincare in here i'm not totally packed up over here either because i haven't done my skincare for the day but in this little bag that i got from amazon i always bring little like travel size of my body wash shampoo conditioner all that stuff so i have that in here and then i bought these little minis of my perfume this summer whenever i went to europe and i found this in my drawer so i never use this and then i always have q-tips right there that's my birth control and then shaving cream moisturizer sunscreen and a little thing of hairspray and my razor this is another mini of that perfume but it's almost gone and then i need to grab a few more of these but i always bring like 10 of these spoolie things for like my eyebrows my eyelashes whatever it may be and then over here we have my conditioner shampoo this is the little mini of the necessary body serum and then this is the mini of the lotion that i'm bringing as well this is a mini of the olaplex number three if i want to slick back my hair for like buns or anything and then some cotton pads for my exfoliator and getting my makeup off so so that's not all the stuff that goes in here but most of it like i said i just have some more skincare products to go in and then this bag is also good to go so and then i of course always bring my dry shampoo especially when i'm going to somewhere that's hot because my hair gets gross so fast and this is the moroccan oil dry shampoo for light hair so good you guys i've talked about this before it smells heavenly it's the best dry shampoo especially for blondes and i swear i've repurchased this probably like a hundred times it's so good so i'm gonna bring this as well and then i always put my brush and my carry-on because my hair gets ratty and stuff on the flight so i'm gonna go put that in there and yeah, that should be pretty much it for packing. So yeah, I hope you guys like that little packing segment of the vlog. I feel like I always like seeing what people pack, how they pack, and all those things. So I hope you enjoy. I'm actually going to end this video off now though because I'm going to leave soon to go out of town. Hello guys, it's the same night actually. We're about to leave to go to our friend's birthday party and everything. It's New Year's Eve. But I wanted to come on and show you guys my outfit before I ended off the video for sure. So... And I'm wearing this sheer long sleeve from Free People. It's like lacy. It's so, so beautiful. I love it. And then this little bralette underneath. And then this is a Zara blazer that I have. It's just oversized. You guys have seen it before. And then my jeans I'm actually borrowing from my friend that I'm with. And so I don't know where they're from, but these are ASOS booties. So, so cute little outfit for New Year's Eve. I'm really excited. And I just thought I would show you guys because I thought it was really cute. Hope you guys have a fun and safe New Year's Eve and I will see you guys in the new year. I love you guys. Bye.